child, a warrior, our life. I am Vanessa Guillen. This is Lupe Guillen, your sister, your loved one, your voice. And when the world is sleeping, I'm the one thinking of you. And hopefully you're thinking of me because God gave a beautiful angel and that angel is Vanessa Guillen. Hundreds gather in Houston today to remember Fort Hood soldier Vanessa Guillen. Six News reporter Jasmine Caldwell is at her memorial and will show us how mourners honored Guillen's memory. Meanwhile, Six News reporter Maria Aguilera has more on the impact Vanessa's death has made around the world. Good evening and thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Leslie Draffin. Chris Radcliffe will join me shortly. It was a somber and emotional afternoon in Houston. Guillen's family, close friends and members of the community came together to remember the Fort Hood soldier whose life was taken way too soon. Six News reporter Jasmine Caldwell is live at Cesar Chavez High School in Houston with more on Guillen's memorial. Well, Leslie, this high school behind me is Vanessa Guillen's old stomping ground. She graduated from high school in 2018, and unfortunately, two years later, the auditorium was filled with people with tears, bidding her a final farewell. Now, take a look at this video. You could not help but get emotional as Vanessa's remains were carried down the street in a horse-drawn carriage for the community and the world to see. Now, not only did the casket make its way in front of the school, but also around the soccer field, the same soccer field where Vanessa played during her high school years. Now, once inside the, ch the school, family, friends, and the community were all able to honor, remember, and speak on Vanessa. Her sister Lupe took to this podium, thanking her mother, who she called a fighter, she said today that this day is not about getting justice. It's not about the I am Vanessa Guillen bill. Today was simply a day to honor Vanessa. As I said, I've been admiring you since day one because you're a fighter, you're a warrior. You always stick to what you want. And that's what you taught me through these months. Go for it no matter what. You never gave up. You're always chasing your dreams. Now, Vanessa Guillen was laid to rest in a custom casket, which had an American and Mexican flag. Uh, it had the soccer emblems, which symbolize her love of the game, and the Virgin Mary, which represents her faith. Now, the memorial is still going on, and tomorrow there will be a private funeral only for the family. No public is invited to that event. For now, reporting live in Houston, Jasmine Caldwell, 6 News. All right, thanks, Jasmine. Now, this story has touched so many people from across our country, Central Texas. It's even been heard around the world. 6 News reporter Maria Aguilera also joins us live with more on how Vanessa Guillen's story has had such an impact. Maria, what are people saying? Leslie Wilson's new people have been going in and out of Vanessa Guillen's high school in their auditorium to pay respects and say their final goodbyes in her hometown. Now, her friends say it's unbelievable how many people know her name, especially when her search began with a small group of people just four months ago. Now, one by one, people walked into the auditorium of Cesar Chavez High School here in Houston, paying their respects in front of Vanessa Guillen's casket before her final resting place on Saturday. Now hundreds of people showed up and thousands watched her public memorial streamed live. Now Guillen's story has gained an incredible amount of national attention and some say it's due to her family's resilience to find her and seek justice for her. Now people from across the country have joined the fight for justice and the way her life ended so tragically is what struck a chord for so many people. It's crazy to think that we started off with such a small group and now we have the support of everyone. Like it's something it's something that we did want. We wanted everyone to support and know Vanessa's story so we can get the justice that she deserves. This has impacted so many people on so many levels because Vanessa was so many things. She was a, a woman, she was a soldier, she was a patriot, she was so many things. So obviously this is one of our own and the community needs to come together to ask for justice for Vanessa Guillen. The public is welcome to come to this memorial up until 8 a.m., 8 p.m. tonight. And now coming up at 6, we hear more on the impact of Vanessa Guillen's story. 
For now in Houston, Maria Aguilera, 6 News, back to you. All right, thanks, Maria. And if you were unable to catch it, all of today's services are on the 6 News YouTube and Facebook pages. We still have a live stream going up because, as Maria said, there are still several more hours left for this public memorial. We have a full history of Vanessa's story and the latest updates on this case at KCENTV.com.